Folding little polka dot tutus and pink colored I Love Mommy t-shirts, preparing the baby's room by stocking up with diapers. The nine months of pregnancy is a time to prepare and look forward to the joys of welcoming new life into the family. But for 20-year-old Josephine, she didn't have those nine months to prepare. I had, you know, a baby growing inside of me and I had no idea whatsoever. The first early signs of pregnancy are usually sudden exhaustion, morning sickness, and of course, your monthly missed period. When I get stressed or anything like that, I would go five, six months without a period. So it wasn't out of the normal for me. Josephine says she had no unusual food cravings, mood swings, and never felt the baby move inside her. My fiance would lay on my stomach for hours, fall asleep there, and nothing. Some women, um, if they're very in tune with their body, uh, by around even 14, 15 weeks can recognize movement. It's very unusual not to recognize movements uh, into the third trimester. So that's after about 27 weeks or so, it's pretty obvious of the movement there. Um, but again, I think if women are not convinced that they're pregnant or don't have any sense that may be pregnant, they may ignore those symptoms. Dr. Chan says it's not uncommon for women to not realize that they're pregnant for the first few months of their pregnancy. But for most women, they do realize within those nine months that they are pregnant. For Josephine, she didn't come to that realization until she went into labor. That's right, day of. It felt like uh, someone was just taking a knife and just putting it in my back and just twisting. Josephine finished her shift at Rona before heading to emergency for her back pain. She suffered from a back injury last winter, so occasional back pain was a normal occurrence for her. Once they put the heartbeat monitor on her, that's when it hit me. And I was like, um, do you have any idea how far along? And they looked at each other and they said, probably 40 weeks. That's when I was like, oh my God. And then the emergency doctor said, you're in labor and that's the cause of your back pain. Around 4.30 a.m., a healthy 8-pound, 14-ounce baby girl was born. When the baby came out, and then even then, it's like when she was delivering, I kind of had a moment. It was like, okay, I'm going to wake up now. Like, this is all a dream. The pregnancy came to a surprise, not just to the couple, but everyone else as well. When she called me, that's when I just thought she was goofing around because she called me and told me that she was pregnant and they were taking her upstairs. I, yeah, right. I was at work picking up 50 kilogram bags of concrete an hour before my back pain started. And um, I would just, you know, continue like my life was normal. Now normal life has taken on a whole new meaning. The couple is happily adjusting to the changes that come with being a new parent. With a new baby though, comes a lot of responsibility. The couple didn't have nine months of preparation. They only had one day. So they had no clothes, diapers, or even a place for the baby to sleep when they returned home. The family reached out to social media and the community for support. And the response was more than they could have ever imagined. We've actually donated a lot of stuff back to the pregnancy crisis place because we just had so much donated to us. There's, she's just one baby. The community did awesome. I'm very thankful for what they did for me and my family. Josephine and Jonathan are hoping that when their next baby comes along, that they'll have just a little more time to prepare. In Nanaimo, I'm Rayanne LaPlante.